What's going on today guys? We are back again with another video and today we're gonna to talk about how to understand some of the core and basic concepts us personal financial diehards use when creating our own investment strategies and without further ado, let's hop right into the video. But before we do that, I wanna give a huge shout out to Invesco QQQ for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. All right, so in order to create an investment strategy, you must identify what your investment goals are. This is literally going from zero to one. Without this, you cannot go any further in this video, so listen up. When you identify your goals, you can create a clearer path in your mind of how to get there. So with that said, I also wanna say that you should consider the reality of these goals coming to life or fruition. As an example, setting a goal of getting a million dollars just out of $1 for an investment might not be very motivating for you or for those times when you're in the deep end because realistically if you're if you're only going into like alt cryptos okay that might happen but like in the stock market at least as of right now that might not necessarily happen the last note on this step is that you want to make sure that this goal you have set has some flexibility because if your goals are flexible then you can adjust them as certain life events happen just that for example the market shifts the next step is seeking to balance my risk essentially setting myself up to not create a very i mean super high risk portfolio, especially in these times. A good way to help you decide what the right balance for you and your portfolio could be, like it helped mine, is by using your age and financial situation or risk tolerance. Let's say if I was 18, I'm 22 right now, still pretty young, and I'd have just a little bit more time on my side, I may want to include more riskier investments than if I were a little bit older, like right now. But if I need cash for living expenses in the near future, then it would make sense to keep a larger portion of my portfolio in a lower risk cash investment. So how exactly will you know what the right kind of balance is? Well, like I said before, it kind of depends on a few factors. For my age, I'm 22 now, the closer I am to retirement, let's say I wanna retire at 30, the more conservative I will be with my investments. Your needs, if there's a chance that you'll need some cash from your portfolio soon, say if early retirement is on the horizon, consider keeping enough money in fixed income or cash instruments to cover just a few years worth of living expenses. Also, it might be smart to take a second and think about your own personal circumstances. As in, is money tight for you right now or is there a reason to believe unexpected expenses can possibly be in the future? So now that we have those things out of the way, I want to introduce you to a game I play called How Not to Suck at Money. The name pretty much says it all. This isn't your ordinary boring economics class type of game. It's actually super fun and the environment online is a really cool tool. How not to suck at money is almost like a life. Remember that game growing up life? It's a similar situation where literally it goes over your personal financial life lessons that happen day to day that school literally just does not teach you. And some of these lessons, for example, are choosing a bank, budgeting, managing credit cards, optimizing student loans, getting a car, literally the list goes on, moving out, starting a new job, starting to invest, building an investment strategy, which I learned and now I'm making a video about today. So I know what you might be thinking, yeah, the game seems fun, but how do you play it? It's really accessible and you don't need a fancy system at all. Like you can use a phone or a laptop and it saves your progress as well too. So if let's say your grandma or your mom tells you to do your chores right now and you're like, I'm playing a freaking game because I've been there, done that in like eighth through 10th grade, you can save your progress and you don't have to restart and just continue, pick up and play the game. The game's also free, there's no cost to play, and once you actually complete the program, you get a certification on LinkedIn, which says a good job from your employer, and you may have a higher probability of even getting an interview seeing that they, you are financially literate. Back to creating an investment strategy, you have to take inventory. So you have to take stock of what you have and what you want. Do you have an emergency fund? 
How much do you need for retirement? How much money can you invest each month? These are all questions that you should highly consider. And should you also look at your current investments? Look at the type of assets they hold, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, alternative investments. You can invest in wine, Chanel bags, purses, the Hermes Birkin, my type of investments. <laughs> their level of risk and their returns. Remember that a well-diversified portfolio contains different types of investments with different levels of risk and return potential. This will help spread out risk even between different types of securities while seeking to maximize the return potential over time. And lastly, to sum it all up, create an investment strategy based on what you want to achieve and be vigilant about following through it. Going through that game, how not to suck at money, goes through the different life lessons and situations that will help you make some key decisions about your finances in the future. And if you ever go through these situations in real life, trust me, you're bound to hit some of these major milestones in your adult life, like taking out a loan or even choosing a new bank. Should you spend your tax refund on a fun vacation or use it to pay off debt or even purchase I-bonds? Should you use your retirement savings to pay off your debt or save for a home. This game kind of indirectly helps you learn about the best decisions to make based off your circumstances through the easy and fun interactive simulations. And as always guys, the content in this video is just used for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor. I say yet, maybe someday, and I will see you guys in the next one.